You're busy this morning. Gonna, gonna be busy weather wise out there. In fact, down around Houston, gonna have some strong severe oh, storms boy. there as well. So that may impact the folks trying to get in uh, to the uh, stadium there. But we'll uh, talk more about the uh, storms here. Let's get you on out the door here com uh, coming up this morning. We're looking at the uh, showers and storms that will be moving into the area kind of scattered about right now, so it will be wet and getting wetter for the morning commute out there. So definitely keep that in mind and we will have some embedded thunderstorms from time to time. Here's what it looks like on radar right now. Some isolated thunderstorms, nothing strong or severe yet, but that the threat is there. It is low today, but we will have that threat for some stronger thunderstorms and we'll have that main line of storms pushing in from the west as we zoom out a little bit from Graham out toward Breckenridge and Eastland. That's going to be moving east and northeast as we go through the morning. So the storms will be more widespread as we head towards 7 a.m. and and through the morning commute. So be prepared for that as you head on out the door. In fact, as we look at a time cast, you see how that line starts to fill in a little bit and it works its way into the area around eight, nine o'clock. Widespread showers and storms still probably west of Fort Worth, but it moves in as we head toward 10 a.m. to about noon. The widespread rain and storms then push off to the east for the late afternoon and early evening hours, and then we'll have the very windy conditions all day. But those winds eventually after midnight coming around out of the northwest and that will usher in some much chillier air for us as we head out the door for tomorrow. Now, as far as that severe weather threat is concerned, again, as we mentioned, level one around here, marginal risk for us, most of North Texas. But as we head down toward the Houston area, we are looking at a level two and slight risk for some strong, severe thunderstorms around Houston and then along the uh, Gulf Coast today, an enhanced risk for strong and severe storms. So for us, with that marginal risk, we are talking about some gusty winds that can't be ruled out with some of those uh, stronger storms. So marginally severe winds and maybe even some small hail as well. So the severe threat is low, but it is not zero today and not certainly not every one will see severe storms for today. Now those winds again, that's going to be another story out there for us today. DFW Airport right now we're looking at 51 degrees. Those winds though gusting to 35 miles per hour. And again, we're talking about some gusts up around 40, probably 40 plus, maybe approaching 45 miles per hour. So that wind advisory does remain in effect today right through 6 p.m. tomorrow. So we'll have those strong winds, but they again will come around out of the northwest and that will drop those temperatures as well a little bit later today. Now we'll still get into the upper 50s and low 60s about normal for today with those at daytime highs, but then they will be falling. It does get quite chilly for tomorrow morning as we'll dip down into the mid and upper 30s for you as you head out the door and those winds right now out of the southeast in that 15 20 mile per hour range and we are seeing some gust up over 30. So yes, hold on to your hats 10 and 2 on the steering wheel out there for today. Now here's what it looks like with that 14 day forecast. Once the storms move out later today and tonight, it will be a chilly day. Tomorrow we will be lucky to hit 50 degrees after a morning low 35 and then it warms up Wednesday and Thursday before that next push of cold air moves in Thursday night going into Friday. Another chance for some showers, but look at those daytime highs and overnight lows going into next weekend. We are talking about some mid 20s as we get into Saturday morning and those overnight lows uh, in the low 30s on Sunday before temperatures begin to bounce back a little bit on Sunday.